How's it going guys? Miles here checking in with another lowdown. Today I'm going to be talking about why I tele-ski, why I am a telemark skier. So really depends who you ask. Um, there's a lot of different reasons why people tele-ski. Um, used to be because people wanted to get into the backcountry. Tele gear was a easier way to access that for a lot of people. Um, AT gear really wasn't anything special, um, so a lot of people got into tele because of that. Um, some people like it because it is more fun, and that honestly for me is why I tele ski. Um, I tele ski because I never really was into skiing, played a lot of sports growing up, um, never really had time to ski or get into that. Um, started to ski, my dad kind of was skiing a lot. Um, really got me into it. Um, he was on tellies and always thought that is the coolest thing, you know, like how, how can I do that? So here we are. I wanted to telly ski, brought me down here to the shop in Salt Lake. Josh and Tay hooked me up with a setup, really just ditched all the Alpine gear, dove into it head first. And here we are. So there's a couple of specific things that I kind of wanted to break down about why I tele ski. Um, the first, obviously, it's more fun, <laughs> as most of you guys know. Um, second, the I really like the gear aspect of telemark skiing versus an alpine setup. So I want to kind of touch on those two really quick. Um, it's a great way for a lot of people to learn something new, which I think is super important because there is kind of a, not necessarily a boring feeling, but you get kind of sick of some things after a while. And that was kind of where I was with alpine skiing, where I was kind of bored of it. Never really felt like I could, I constantly wasn't improving. So that's why I jumped on the tellies. Um, it was very fun to constantly improve and get better. And I mean, even still today, constantly getting better, improving working on things, stuff like that, which I think is super cool. Um, it has somewhat of a connection to golf, which I also really enjoy where you're always trying to get better. You're always trying to better your score, but in skiing, you don't have a scorecard to look at. It's more of your yourself and your personal experience and how you feel kind of what's going on there. So that is something for me, which is awesome. Um, it's also great for a lot of people like you guys out there where Maybe your kids are getting into skiing. You want you want something to mix it up. You're you know, you're on alpine skis now, but your kids are getting old enough to start skiing or something like that. Great time to learn how to telly, um, where kind of can make the bunny hill a little more exciting because you're struggling just as much as your kids are, <laughs> which is kind of something fun. Um, I see that happen a lot in here where people will come in, hey, I'm kind of just wanting to get a telly set up. My kids are getting old enough to ski and that's something that's really cool to see where as your kids are learning how to ski, you are also learning how to re relearn how to ski, which is super fun. Um, but yeah, it's there's a couple different options there as far as maybe getting into a U setup, something like that. But that is something we see a lot. Um, and then really the gear to me is super cool. Um, as you guys can see behind me, I got bunch of different boot options, bunch of different ski options. We have a big assortment of binding choices and things like that, which I think is something that's really cool about Tele, especially some of the ones up here above me where there really has been kind of a um, an evolution of those bindings where to see, I mean, for example, Outlaw X, Majo, Lynx, you have all these new bindings that are just constantly improving constantly getting better which is just something that's super cool to see and experience where the power is always getting better your your skis your bindings they're getting stronger faster tougher more powerful easier to step into easier to release you know there's so much there that makes it so interesting to me and I think a lot of you guys out there too um, where there really is it's there's so many different options for everybody where you can really pick what you like or what you're interested in or maybe maybe you have a different preference than one of your buddies and that's that's something I really enjoy about Telly is you really can customize your setup to what you like and what you prefer which is something that I don't think is as 
true, at least for me personally, um, coming from that alpine skiing for just a little bit where it's kind of like, okay, I got my boots, I got my bindings, I got my skis, I'm ready to go. Definitely is a lot, lot more boots, skis, stuff like that, but I really think there's a lot of different options in that telly binding boot category, which makes it super fun and super cool to me, um, as well as there are some fun mods and things like that that people do, um, buckle swaps and power blocks and things like that, which is, which is something that's super cool. But really, I, I just love the community, the family that we all have here in the Telemark world. Um, I think it is something super special that you really can't find in other places. Um, I have met people, family, friends now that some of my best friends, best family through that Telemark turn and through Telemark skiing, which is something that all you guys have that same opportunity to learn, learn new stuff and meet new people. And most of you guys probably have, and you know, it's really cool to see that. Um, definitely a little bit of a newer, younger Telemark generation, but that's something which I think is super cool. You have all of these different generations of skiers and different bindings and different boots and stuff like that. So that's kind of why I like to tele ski. Um, it is something that I'm constantly improving with and working on where there's not really a limit. You can't get so good at something and you've mastered it. Um, with tele skiing, I feel like no one ever will. Um, there's a couple people who are really good and you know, they're, they're probably there, but myself, I'm not. And that's something I love is I love to get better, love to improve on things like that. Um, I love the community and things like that. So that's why I tele ski. I enjoy it. It's something fun. It's something unique for whoever you are. Um, but, and that's what we're here for here at the Free Hill Life in Salt Lake. Me, Nate, Tay, T2, the list goes on. Can't name everyone. Um, we're here to ha help you get that same experience, get you on the hill, get you learning new things, get you meeting new people. And that's really our goal here at the shop is to spread that telemark, spread telemark as a whole. So as always, guys, it's been Miles. Um, real quick, quick binding update for you guys. I only have a couple of the 22 designs bindings left in stock. We are, we got our first couple of orders. They sold through quick with pre-orders, things like that. I do have a couple left as well as we are expecting a, another shipment very, very soon. Um, I have pretty good stock on boots. There's a couple I'm running short of. Skis pretty stocked up as you can see. Bishop skis are running very low, but still got quite a few volets. Um, I have a lot of new used gear up on the website and for you guys here in the store. So if you guys have any questions on that, uh, be sure to hit us up, hit me up. If you have questions on gear or sizing or bindings, whatever that may be, make sure to let us know. Customer service at freeheellife.com. Um, you can find all of my personal information down below. Give us a call, shoot us an email. Yeah, we'll get you guys set up. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. It's been Miles, guys. Thanks.